Hi there. Um, today I am going to do this eye look for you. Um, I'm calling it Sunset Eyes. I use a couple of different brands. I use MAC. I use uh, NYX products. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do this eye look. It's just a gold and um, kind of cranberry just sunset look. Um, I think it's very pretty and it's kind of um, more of a wearable kind of colors to use um, for like a sunset look. It's just a nice blend of just really warm um, kind of shimmery colors um, very much like glowy you know it's like it's like a warm glowy look which is what you want from a sunset what you see from a sunset is you know your pinks and your golds and your purples so I just tried to do a look like that so if you're interested in seeing how I did this look stay tuned alright so the first product I'm going to use on my eye is my urban no actually today I'm gonna to use painterly paint pot um, for this it's just a nude like a skin tone <clears throat> cream eyeshadow base. Just apply that all over your lid and up into your brow bone and then whatever you have left over in your finger just bring underneath because we're gonna have color underneath on our bottom lash line there. First color we're going to use is a really light shimmery golden color from my Physicians Formula Shimmer Strips in Waikiki Strip. Um, we're going to use this second color from the top. It's the light golden color. And I actually am going to use this color wet um, just because it, it gives a little more pop and I usually use Fix Plus and then lately I've been using the Evian spray but I'm out so I'm just going to use water so I'm just going to use a small um, eyeshadow brush and just get the tip of the brush wet and then just kind of dab it off to get the excess water off so that the brush is damp and then I'm just going to take it and run it across that light gold color. Okay. I'm going to put this color on the inner corner of our lid. You got your light gold color, just clean off your brush. I'm going to use pretty much the same brush for this whole eye look. Um, and then on the outer corner of our lid, I'm going to use a copper shade. Um, the shade, you can get any kind of copper shade from any brand you want, um, but I have a really nice copper shade in my Milani Runway Eyes palette, and I think this is... Oops, this is the Catwalk Eyes palette. Um, these are really just shimmery metallic shades. I'm going to use this copper shade right here, the second one from the bottom. And this one I'm going to use dry. I'm not going to use this shade wet. Just load up your brush. Tap it off and just place this color on the outer corner of your lid. <clears throat> this color blends really nicely with the gold. It's just a warmer, um, copper is just like a warmer version of gold, so it, it's a really nice transition. And I want to keep everything in this look really, really blended, so I'm trying to use colors that complement each other and similar colors because um, in a natural sunset, the colors, colors just blend flawlessly and they're beautiful. So I'm trying to keep everything really blended like you would see in a sunset. And just take the brush and kind of just feather it out in the middle where the two colors meet. Um... Alright, so for our next color, I'm going to use a NYX color, and it's called Rust. This is supposed to be comparable to Max Cranberry, so if you have that or any kind of um, cranberry type red color, I'm just going to get this on the same eyeshadow brush, just wipe it off after you use your copper color, and I'm going to put this color, we're going to use this in a crease. And this color is really just going to create that beautiful, warm, look that you get in a sunset. 
Um, for To deepen up our outer corner here, I'm going to use a MAC color. This is Sketch. It's just a plummy um, purple plum color, and it's got kind of red sparkles, or not sparkles, but shimmer to it. So just load up your, uh, I'm going to use my Essence of Beauty Fine Crease Brush. And I'm just going to place this in, I guess, your outer V area. And kind of blend it up in your outer corner here just to give you depth. Just use that gold as a highlight and then just blend out the edge of that red shadow so that it's not so harsh because um, they can't, these kind of red, you know, cranberry shadows can make you look tired if you're not careful about blending them. Okay, um, next I want to, like you, I don't know if you could see, I did on this eye, um, I brought that light gold, under, gold color underneath, and I brought it underneath in a really, like, concentrated, like, pop of a color. Not, it's usually when I do this, I'll use an angled eyeliner brush, but I'm actually going to use a sponge tip applicator, and I'm going to use it wet. So, just get the tip of your sponge tip applicator pretty wet. Um, again, just dab it off so that you get the excess water off. And then I'm just going to run it through that light gold color again that we used. And just get a concentrated amount of it on the tip of your sponge tip applicator. And then I'm just going to bring it underneath. And using this shade, you can use these shades um, dry. I do use these shades dry as eyeshadows a lot for a more sheer, like, natural kind of glowy look. Um, but these shimmer strips come off really nice when you use them wet, like I am now. They just come out like more of a nice intense color. And there you go. It just brings a nice pop of color, that gold. It just sets off the whole look, I think, to have that. If you have a gold liner, you feel free to use it under your eye. I don't, so I just use the shadow. But All right, that's the completed shadow look. I'm going to go and I'm going to do my eyeliner and my mascara, and then I'll come back with the completed look. This is the finished look. Um, I don't know. I think it's just a really nice blend of colors. It's a great rep representation of a sunset, just warm and glowy and just you know, reds and purples and golds. Um, and just nice. If you guys like this, let me know, and everybody have a great day. Bye.